God bless you. Good morning. Today in our devotional, we're in Acts chapter 5 and Daniel chapter 3 as we talk about, i rather obey God than man. Are you overwhelmed? Does it feel like you have to make a decision for God against something else? Obeying God is always the answer. The Lord will never leave us nor forsake us. He's with us always, yea, even to the end of the world. So as we go to Acts chapter 5 and Daniel chapter 3 this morning, would you pray with me that God will grant us the grace to obey him in light of everything that may come against us. Father, in the name of Jesus, you're the same yesterday, today, and forever. You never change. As we look to you and ask for help, give us the grace, give us the strength to stand against the powers of darkness. You've enabled us through the power of your Holy Spirit to speak to the darkness and command in the name of Jesus that we have light through the word of God and the Holy Spirit. We thank you that we rather obey God than man. Give us the strength to do so. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Oh, in Acts chapter 5, as we look at Peter the Apostle, as he makes a statement after the government told him, you're not to speak the name of Jesus. I have a quote from you from Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin said this, rebellion against tyrants is obedience to God. And that's exactly what's happened in Acts chapter 5 and Peter and the apostles answer the authorities and says, we ought to obey God rather than men. And he begins to tell them that God of our fathers raised up Jesus whom you slew and hanged on a tree. Him has God highly exalted and sat at the right hand of God. He is the Savior, Peter says. And he goes on to say that repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins come through Jesus. And then he said this in verse 32, chapter 5 of Acts. And we are his witnesses of these things. And so also the Holy Ghost, whom God had given to them that obey him. Acts is showing us as the authorities come against the apostles and Peter that they're not to speak the name of Jesus, but they said we'd rather obey God than man. They told them in verse 28, did we not strictly command you to not speak in his name? The leaders asserted their authority once more, insisting the apostles should not have been loyal to Jesus, but to them instead. And that's why the statement was made, we'd rather obey God than man. In Daniel chapter 3, Nebuchadnezzar and the Babylonian philosophy was the same way. Everyone was to obey Nebuchadnezzar. And Nebuchadnezzar erects a statue 90 feet tall and 6 feet wide, an image of himself, and that whoever would not bow before the image was to be thrown in the, in, into the fire furnace. But verse 12 is a key verse in Daniel chapter 3. As the Jews whom who set over the affairs of the province in Babylon. It was Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, these men. And they said, O king, have ye not regarded thee that, that they serve not thy gods? And Babylon had many gods. And, and they said they would not worship the golden image. And Nebuchadnezzar erects this massive statue in tribute to himself and his kingdom and his gods. Nebuchadnezzar still had not learned who truly is sovereign over the kingdom of Babylon. Yahweh once again demonstrates his power through the three Hebrew children, revealing that Nebuchadnezzar and his attendants that he is the one and only true God. They would not bow before their God. Experiencing Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior means you believe that God raised him from the grave and purchased our eternal salvation, and that he is our Lord and will take care of us. He'll never leave us nor forsake us. As Hebrews chapter 13, 5 says, let your conversation be without covetousness, and be not content with such things, and be content with such things as you have. For he had said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. The only scriptures in the entire Bible, you can read forward and backwards, and it says the same thing. Thee forsake, nor thee leave, never will I. I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. Today, whether it be governments, authorities, powers, whatever they may be, principalities of the air, demonic forces, we obey Christ who died on the cross for our sins, and we take authority over all the powers of darkness, and we rather obey God than man. Let's pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, 
In this devotional in Daniel chapter 3 and Acts 5, we see clearly that your apostles and disciples were going to obey you more than anything else on this earth. Give us the grace and the strength we need. And as Benjamin Franklin taught us, that when we are against tyrants, we're in obedience to God. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus for the authority you've given us in Jesus' name. Give us grace, give us strength, give us the power necessary to be your witnesses in these last days. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you. The Lord keep you. Remember, Jesus, the final authority on this earth.